it. Use my action surge. And oh, him action surge. Whew. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take him down. Oh, Ooh, nice. Let's go, baby. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. You let's actually, see. you did take him down. You actually killed him. Ooh. You actually nice. killed him. Yeah, and you, you Could have. have uh, yeah, you, you actually killed him. He had a 10 HP, so. Nice going. <laughs> Overkill. Gregus with the, the clutch performance on that round. Some more, you're up. I'm just trying to think what would be. It looks like um, everybody's quite heavy down there, so I'm going to see these ogres coming to the east. I'm gonna be like, I, I would allow like uh, a edge, like a dog closer. or something like that. Oh, nothing that's gonna involve oh, another. <laughs> nothing I'm like a pet woodwork. type of class, no. But I would allow a like a hawk or something like that. Protect. Of like what Dragon Age would I'm allow. I'm gonna hit my first protect on this guy here. All I right. That's a miss. Zings and arrow. Right past the beautiful ogre miniature. Zing! And if it's 11, it, that's a hit, yeah? Hey, what's up, Theo? Thanks for stopping by. These were AC 11, weren't they? Yes, they are 11. So you hit on your second attack. Also, you guys, if you are enjoying the stream, please hit follow. And if you're looking to play some D&D, &D, um, starting that Sunday there. night, I'm going to be doing some hosted games for the viewers starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and we'll be doing a D&D Next Level 1 campaign this weekend, so check out tabletopping.net, go to the forums, and register on the forums, and show some interest that you would like to play a D&D game. I'll also be doing some Dragon Age as well in the future. So. Alright, Pam, you're up. If you guys are interested in playing uh, some D&D, &D, like stop by the website and post on the forums. Because the people on the forums will get priority. And I have a few requirements as well. All the requirements are on the forum post. Top posts on the forums. Well, feel free to stop by, Logical. Just, uh, like I said, register on the site and we'll get you in. I'll try to get everybody in. That's what I want to do, try to get everybody in. I'm going to be doing some higher level stuff, some level 5, 10, and level 20 stuff as well. So it's not just going to be level 1 games. All right. That's a nice hit. It's nice not having that negative modifier anymore, huh? What? If I can get you to attack, come on. Does it go? Attack. You're up. No, I don't want to attack. Uh, I want to use Phantasmal Force. Alright. What are you gonna what do you want to summon? Uh, I want to create an illusion of a large black dragon right here to this little fellow. No, I thought it was going to be the giant's wives. I thought about that. <laughs> so you <laughs> want one of these. Where do you want it? Yeah, Where? Exactly. At? Where? Right here? Uh, here. Alright. And he says in common... Stop, you fools! So is there a... Typing in, in chat and look back up and there's a dragon on the screen. Is there a saving throw involved with Phantasmal Force? Uh, or no? Saving throw. Oh, they're gonna fail this shit. They're in negatives. Alright, so... What is your target number? Uh, it's 15, I think. You take an 8 plus your Charisma modifier. Oh, well, here, sorry. Uh, it's 11. Alright. The, oh wow, the first ogre makes, he passes his wisdom save. The second ogre 
He goes, Oh! And he starts to run away. So he will start running away. It's only a model. Hmm. Black dragons don't buy from ogres, I guess. Alright, Ve, you're up well, now. I'll move a little more comfortably between these two guys. And I'm going to do first level Scorching Ray on the giant behind Jeff. Okay. So it looks like hit. you had all hits. Nice. For, wow. 29 damage. Whew. He's definitely bloodied. Uh, but no, I'm not singing. Oh, wait a minute. I, I'm out of action charges, but you gotta quit showing me up here. You're not singing anymore? No, I, I can't. Any movement back? Of course, he's a, he's a concentration. Alright, hold on. Uh, Pierce, go ahead, go. Uh, David? Yes. Minus uh, seven points out of that damage pool. So add seven more back to the creature? No. Yeah. yeah. Because I didn't know that uh, Pam wasn't singing any longer. Uh, yeah, because he, he blew his concentration for Phantasmal Force. Wait, it worked. It yeah. definitely worked on one, yeah. It definitely did. Alright, Pierce, you're up. House 3, fresh meat. Time move around the uh, back of this ogre. Like it, um. Any bonuses? Uh, we'll let you have advantage for this round only. Then okay. he's gonna know that you're there. Um, what do I add? You don't add anything. Advantage. advantage is two rolls, take the highest roll. Disadvantages, two rolls, take the lowest roll. <sighs> and I still add my bonuses for both those uh, rolls, right? Absolutely. Okay. He guarantees it. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. <laughs> so 19. No, 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 19. No, no, 19. Roll your damage. Macro, oh. son. Bit pull hard cast over. Son, I'm never gonna buy you another game on Steam ever again if you do not have macros <laughs> next week. And I'm not joking. <laughs> no more games Cutting ever. Off. Cutting them off. Cutting them off. He will buy games for me instead. <laughs> right. <laughs> the All first right. one being Hello Kitty. Five damage. Alright. You want any more movement or anything, bud? Or are you done? No, I'm done. Okay. Jeff, you're up now. I'm gonna jump and try and just jab at this guy in his chest. Going for a lung or a heart. Okay. <laughs> Baby! <clears throat> I miss all three. I'm gonna use an action surge on this. I'm not leaving without at least one hit. All right, AC eleven, go for it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I get the reroll. Ugh, oh, mercy, Jeff, what is going man. on? That's like me on Friday night, it's dude. A for good real. Thing you picked that fucking class, man. And <laughs> it's the race, but yeah, uh, yeah I race get a race. hit. Hey, you guys. All right, seven damage. Then I'm gonna try and uh, knock the target That's prone by tripping. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna do another dirty trick on this guy. You're done. Gonna... E you've done enough this round, Jeff. You are. <sighs> you're okay. you're spent, dude. I don't care what dandy next rules say. You are done. You got four attacks this round. That's it. You're done. I got, I got the sweat beating on my brow. All right. Trying to attack him. The first ogre here, uh, 
is also screaming and in the background you seem to hear a more bellowous type of scream uh, actually it looks sort of like a uh, do I don't it. know it's, do it's just a lot louder scream anyways now Jeff you're getting attacked again so and as soon as I target the correct miniature uh, 15 AC does that hit? nope 19 Okay, so he's done the next ogre, which is actually he's going to attack this dragon. Doesn't that have a net, no armor class whatsoever, right? Phantasma Force, this is basically an automatic hit, and when I, when I hit this thing, it dissipates, correct? I it think explodes. so. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Alright, well, next time put it on your character sheet or something so you actually know what's going on with that spell so I have it so. I have it right, uh, written down in okay well he attacks it I and he basically that thing is gonna get hit and it's basically that's his round now and he is going to move a little bit and start to engage the group the other bonehead is still still running away for this round, so he's he's going to run towards the end, and he's going to say, "Ooh, what?" Now he's going to turn around, and he'll be coming back. And as the this guy over here, he, he you see a two-headed colossal giant come over, storm over this hill as well. I'm etting. Is it? Ooh, wow. Nice job. Nice job. And Etten actually joins the fight. This is unlike any Ooh. any giant that you've seen. You've never had a you've only heard of these two headed creatures. You actually haven't seen one, so but now you do. You see one in the flesh and he is barreling towards you. Okay, so that is every everything's attack, so I think Gregos, you are up now? And I'm going to add the ogre, the Etten here to the turn. There we go. All right, Gregus, you're up. Oh yay! Okay, what's this one right here that Jeff and them? And what's going on with him? He is bloodied, and he's he's about bloodied. That's about it. All right, what's going on with this guy right here? Is, uh, he, is he running for me? He yeah, he's charging your way, and he just destroyed the. Phantasmal Force Black Dragon that was there, so. Alright, well, let me oblige this one here. Hey, what's up, Rona? Thanks for stopping by, and man. I will attack with my launch war. Oh, nice. And there is. God, what is with these damn damage rolls? And there is no <laughs> him, right? <laughs> there is no him. I'm gonna attack again. Another hit. There we go. 15 damage. Wow, nice. He is bloodied. Now, Samora, you're up. Damn right. I'm going to attack this guy here as well. Boosh. For 8 points of damage without him. The mighty Boosh. Boosh! Yeah, last me. I'm all Greg. <laughs> Sounds so good. I got a mangina. All right, eight points of damage on the one on Greg. Is. Sorry, I'm kind of adjusting. Oh, actually, I'm looking at feet. All right, so now you're up there, Pam. Okay. I'd like to move here, I think. Alrighty. Um I'll sing the call to battle. Alright. Uh, my song. And Very I good. want to do um, a, a ready action. If someone approaches me, since I'm 
quite available in the middle of the battle the battlefield. I want to do a ready action to a uh, thunder wave. All right. You can you can hold your attack, sure. That's it. All right, Ove, you're up. I want to cast suggestion on the Ethan and suggest to him that uh, the guy next to him is one of our party. And what exactly does that do? There's, I'm sure there's some kind of saving throw involved for that, so... Oh, yes. Yeah, I'll read it to you, huh? Uh, suggest a course of activity. Magically influence the creature within range. Oh, wait. No, he has to be able to understand me. The Edmonds understand common? Oh. They are they are intelligent, aren't they? Uh, the Etten understands giant. Hmm. Yeah, I can't speak giant. Plan B. <laughs> DPS. Your language is more carefully. <laughs> I'm going to continue attacking the one that I was hitting before there with Jeff. With a uh, regular magic missile. All right. Eight points. All right. Now, Purist, you're up. You do not have advantage. He knows that you are there. No. Um, I, okay, I'm going to cast a sanctuary on myself, and then I am going to just attack this giant again with my mace. Okay, and what exactly does sanctuary do? Doesn't it give you some kind of buff? Mm -hmm. I'll read it to you real quick. Um, sanctuary wards a creature within range against enemy attacks. Anybody who targets that creature with an attack or harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, it must choose a new target or lose the attacker spell. But it does not protect me against area of effect spells like the explosion of fireball. It just basically protects you from anything that, that's attacking you besides the main target? Is that how I understood that right? Well, pretty much anybody that targets me has to make a wisdom saving throw. Or, or change else. your target, correct? Yeah, if they fail it, they have to change their target. Okay, and what's your wisdom DC, just in case? My 8 plus wisdom your wisdom modifier. Is 10. Okay, so you have a plus 2 to wisdom? Yep. You got more than that, Nick. That's what my character sheet says. Hang on. I'll check. Yeah, it does say plus two. You got a fourteen. Okay. Uh you want the you want the balanced route then, right? Yeah, okay, I got gotcha. you. No, you're right. I thought you I don't know what I was thinking. I'm I'm looking at too many character sheets between my both my games, so Yeah. All right, so it'll be a ten. That's it's not too bad because the all the other guys have negative modifiers, so it should be all right. Yeah. If they attack you, just remind me. So all right, mm -hmm. so Jeff, you're up now, and then the ogres will, the ogre army, ogre slash Etna army will attack. We yeah. will destroy you. Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna go for this guy's legs. I'm gonna try and uh, knock him from under him by uh, cutting him off. Uh, 
Oh, look, I actually got one. Come on! Roll your damage. Oh. Nice little late. Don't forget your plus four, because he's got his aura battle back up. Nice little 12. Okay. Oh, barely. He's he's still he's still barely alive. All right. So that is it for you. And now the ogre's shell attack. The one on you, Jeff, is going to try to get one last vicious swing off. Oh my God! Come on. 24. That is a 19 plus 5. I'm sure that probably hits. Yeah. And you will take. 10 whopping damage. Of course, I rolled more ones. Okay. I'm okay with that. The next ogre, which is on Gregos, is going to attack. 17 versus armor class. Is that a miss? It is a miss. Okay. Now, these next two are going to use their sprint, they're going to hustle. They're basically going to move 60 feet, and they will be able to get to the other other side of the map, basically, because they have a actually they have 40 feet movement speed, so they'll be able to get over here. Oh, that's that's not good. In fact, I'm going what to caught? shrink this one guy down. So. Alright. Doesn't this activate my Thunder Wave? It can. So we'll say that they're here, and if you want, you have your action readied, you can do Thunder Wave. Exactly. So you have to roll earlier. Um, sorry. Uh, everyone in 15 feet will have to roll a con Constitution saving throw. Is it an area of effect, or is it conal, or, or it's what? It's an area of effect. Okay, so everybody within 15 feet. So basically... I am loving my rerolls. Alright. And what is the, the damage on that Thunder Wave? It's 2d8, and I'll add my, my 1d4, right? Correct. There's any any other modifiers or or just a flat two d eight plus one d four? No, it's flat. All right. All right, we'll go ahead and go ahead and do that roll. All right, so it'll be a total of eight damage. So it looks like Jeff, you take four. Uh, I got it. Kind of, oh yeah, so it's tapped. Yeah, Gregus looks like you take the full amount, whopping eight damage. And let me see. Did did it hit all of the ogres? And the Etten? I don't think it hit the one that Jeff and them were attacking. Okay. Or the one it that I'm attacking. Okay. Yeah, so it only hit the two. Okay. So I'm going to do saving throws and that's a you said con saving throw? Exactly. The Etten makes his and the ogre fails is horribly. Alright, and, and what is that, like a 10 foot knockback or something? Exactly. Exactly? Okay. Everyone. Alright. Oh, so even if you make the saving throw, you it's still get knocked back? Exactly. Okay. Everyone. Okay. Said 10 feet? Yep. And now Gregos is up. Horn of blasting. <laughs> I knew that was coming. They're all bunched yeah. up like that. Yep, so, yep, yep. so the horn of blasting. What? Well, that's a conal, correct? Correct. All right. And what kind of 
How far does it reach? 40 feet. 40 feet? Yep. So basically we'll hit hit the ogres and that should be it. Shouldn't shouldn't have shouldn't hit them. I don't know how hang on let me look up see what the what the width of the cone is because uh, I'm not really not sure. It's two hundred feet. I'm joking. Yeah, I don't think it's forty feet by two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be more like a that wouldn't be arc. A cone of that's a that's a arc of blasting. <laughs> you destroy the mountain range. <laughs> This forty foot cones, I would have I would imagine that at the forty foot point here that it goes twenty feet in both directions. Yeah, we'll say that you hit these three. Uh, the go. one on the left I don't think you'll be able to hit, so No. So we'll say you hit the one directly in front of you and the two that are charging in, so I think that's fair. Right on. Oh, right on. And go ahead and roll your your uh, 866 or whatever it is, and I'll I'll do saving throws. And does the hymn of battle add to that too? No, nah, I won't. I won't say for the for the okay. horn. No. Nah. Now, what is the target yeah. number for that? 16 DC 16 fortitude. Okay, I'll start doing saving and, throws. Uh, and that reduces the damage by half. And the gates are definitely will sell. I'll be deaf. Is it con? 16 con? Fortitude, yeah, it's con. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that one, that one, one. First ogre so fails. Second ogre passed. And the Etten failed. So, 18. The Horn of Blasting makes an, uh, an appearance. He didn't use it for like the first month of the game. This uh, ogre and in when front I of you. And whined about it, I thought it was great. Us. This one died. This one fell you. over. And we now. The first time I devoided my bells. Samora, you're up. Nice damage on that, Chili. Perfect, uh, perfect uh, usage of that. Um, am I able to use persuasion on the Etin to try and make one of the heads punch the other head? <laughs> <laughs> so do you have to? <laughs> do you have to roll deafening on both of those heads? No, they're they're that's that's a good question, but they're, no, they're they're probably just both deaf. I mean, they just took a, a blast of the horn of blasting, so I'm, I'm pretty sure they're they're deaf right now. But yeah, can I use persuasion on the Etten to punch himself? You can you can try <laughs> now. What what the heck does persuasion do? That's a skill check, correct? <laughs> Charisma. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think it actually it, it won't allow me to do that. <laughs> you can you can use your action. I, I'll let you try anything. May yeah, but may not work. Persuasion itself doesn't do it. Uh, all you're gonna say is, "Oh, come on, please, will you, will you please?" I mean, look at this guy beside you. I mean, he's looking <laughs> at you funny. He's a schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's giving you the stink eye. All right, I, I am gonna do it because I think it'd be funny, and obviously, if I credit, I expect it to work. Okay. I'm gonna edge closer a little bit. I'm gonna make my check. You're gonna try to seduce the head? Or maybe he'll seduce me. Who, who sees? Then I'm gonna say to the left head Is it true what your mate just said? Your brother? Or He said you got a. What did he say? He said, dick. he said you got a little dick, he did. I didn't wanna believe him. What? Well, my dick is his dick! Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said he's getting smaller, so all he's had, he looks big, but you've got the big head, so it looks small. Okay, fuckers, this is. Um, uh, yeah. It, yeah, first of all, oh, that's a good call. First off, he didn't he didn't hear that. He's just looking at you going, ah. what the hell is this jobber saying? So that was a nice try, though. Because he can't 